Do people just up and leave houses where they've spent their whole lives? What's the story behind abandoned houses? And what are the things they leave behind? We've got some answers for you. From the gold bars in the garden to the eerie-eyed baby dolls, here are the 20 most incredible things found in abandoned mansions. $6,800 in cash. Turns out there are still some good people left in the world. You wouldn't find them walking on the streets every day, of course. People like this are rare. Why talk about good people? Well, hear this. There was this photographer guy, Dave, who did something not many people do. He's fascinated with old houses and antiques, and these are the things he takes pictures of. On top of his trips to a very old house, he found a stash of old American and Canadian notes underneath a mattress in one of the rooms. And when we say stash, we mean stash. We're talking $6,800. It's surprising because it had been in that abandoned house for years, probably as old as the picture and empty food cans they found lurking around the home. For most people, that's like free money. You know, finders keepers. After all, it's been there for years and no one knew of its existence. But not this guy. Instead of keeping it, he tracked down a family member of the deceased homeowner and gave it to her. Turns out she was the granddaughter of the house owner. The act of kindness got her emotional, and to her it felt like she was receiving a gift from her late relatives. Some people think Dave made a silly choice, but consider this. What if the money was cursed and meant only for family? We also need to think about the possibility that the money had been there since the 1970s and may not have been touched for a reason. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. Abandoned properties can be really eerie to explore because you just might uncover the reasons why people left. These places can be haunted, or maybe there was some sort of outbreak. Worse still, maybe there's an escaped animal causing trouble somewhere in the basement. What a man discovered in an abandoned mansion shocked the whole world. Based on the image, we see a creature locked up in a tank. However, we can't identify it. Seems to be staying afloat. Maybe it's a sea creature captured from the bottom of the ocean, or something from outer space. That's a bit extreme. It could also be some prehistoric dinosaur, or something along that line, or the product of an experiment gone wrong. Whatever it is, better not be alive because it looks like it can cause a lot of damage. So what do you think? Kindly share your opinion in the comments section using hashtag missing topic. Car in a Spanish mansion. The wealthy have a major advantage. They can do almost anything without facing the consequences, especially if it has to deal with things such as cars, boats, clothing, and the like. Some of them only value these items when they're trending, and after that, it's next? So it wasn't a surprise when some guy discovered a deserted mansion and found items hidden inside. There were many things to find in the house. Many, many things. It looked like the owners left in a hurry because everything was still functional. In fact, one could move in there, and the only thing they'd have to do was clean it. The most baffling thing of all is what they had also found in the garage. A car. People often abandon their vehicles, let's say after they graduate from school, and they live far away. We've seen that happen before. But then, would they leave behind a supercar? Because that's what these guys left behind in the house. A million dollar car. While it may be appealing to take the car, clean it up and make it yours, you must consider the other items found in the house, like bullets. That gives an idea of the kind of people that may have inhabited that place. You don't want to mess with such folks. This isn't the only costly item-filled house on today's list. Abandoned mansion full of luxury items. If you enjoy discovering abandoned houses with valuable items, you might have missed a great chance with this one. We say this because you may have made a lot of money by being the one to discover the contents of the property. Imagine walking into a deserted mansion and you find things that you can only dream about. The house has an indoor pool, a mahogany library, a sports complex, and it's abandoned. Whew. Well, we wonder what the guy who discovered this luxurious mansion must have felt upon stumbling into such a doorway. What's the story behind this one? The mansion, which is about 30,000 square feet, should have been the first sign that a lot of money was spent here. But we later learned that the property was built by a rich doctor who died in a plane crash with his son. He had initially built the house for his family members, but when he died, they couldn't foot the bills, so they left. Now the question is, 
Why didn't they take the luxury items that were found there? Stuff like flat screen TVs, a 12-foot sparsely decorated Christmas tree, a Mercedes Benz, a Volkswagen Beetle, and a Land Rover. The explorers guessed that there was a homeless person living in the house. And honestly, we don't blame whoever it is. It's sad that items so expensive, including the house, are lying there, wasting away. House full of surprises. Are you an urban explorer? If yes, then we're sure that you know it's a whole lot of risk venturing into some abandoned properties. For real, think about it. There could be a whole lot of things going on there that could be harmful. Also, let's not forget that you wouldn't even want to risk being caught up in the booby trap just for some pictures. Back to the property, you'll be surprised at how pleasant the interior of this house looks. Seems like the owner just went on a trip and mistakenly left the doors unlocked. We say that because most things are still in good condition and are uniquely beautiful. It's said that a doctor owned the house, and as we can see, most of his stuff is still strewn about, a sign that he left in a hurry. What could have really happened? Is it obvious he practiced in the grand house with the operating theater, clinic room, examination room and all? So what happened with his patients? Did they just stop visiting? Maybe he had a skeleton in his cupboard. Apparently he does, literally. There's a skeleton stuck in his wardrobe. But not to scare you, it's just a miniature one. The kind doctors usually have in their office. So, there are not many shocking things found here. Can't say the same for the next house though. Gold hoard underneath furniture. This guy in our story won the lottery when he moved into the French house he inherited from his relative. It's the kind of story you wouldn't believe until you see proof. He didn't exactly win the lottery, he only found $3.7 million worth of gold hidden in the house, which is better. There was gold everywhere, in the bathroom, kitchen, under the furniture, everywhere. In total, he found 5,000 gold pieces, two gold bars, and 37 gold ingots. For most people, that's one of the luckiest things that could ever happen to anyone. The gold had been stored in the house since the 50s and 60s, so it seemed like a gift from the past. The man had no choice but to receive it wholeheartedly. You get a house plus extra gold? Who will say no to that? Now be honest, if you were in his shoes, wouldn't you have also taken the gold stash? Just imagine buying a house and finding gold under the furniture and the bed. That would be the day. And this guy didn't even buy the house. It was a gift. Talk about a two-in-one package. Well, he should thank Uncle John or whoever the relative was for such generosity. Giovanni Boldini painting. Love is a beautiful thing, and it's amazing when people discover deets about a love story that happened years ago. Who doesn't like to hear a juicy love story? This house was what gave away info about the great Italian painter Giovanni Boldini's love life. Estate representatives entered into his abandoned house in Paris that had been left untouched for 70 years. They found antiques and were like, nothing exciting here. But hey, they said that too quickly because they soon found something very interesting, a never-before-seen portrait by Giovanni himself. It was a painting of Marthe de Florian, who lived in the house back in the 1980s. They figured the two were in love at some point in history, and they found a love letter from him that proved their theory was correct. What do you do with such a discovery? You auction it, and that's exactly what these guys did. Paintings like these are usually valued, especially when they're by artists like Giovanni. Not much may be known about Marth, but one thing's for sure, Giovanni successfully immortalized his lover. Her portraits hung somewhere today, and day by day, people pass by it admiring his great talent and his lover's everlasting beauty. Speaking of honoring legacies, this next house is one we don't want the world to forget anytime soon. Payphone House have you ever sold one of your prized possessions because it was time to let it go? If you have, you'd understand that it's one of the most challenging things to do. William Swearingen probably went through something similar when he sold his childhood home after his father David died in 2022. If you don't know David, he's the man who established the Florida Public Telephone Company. He built the company from scratch in his Springfield home through sheer grit and determination. Years later, a journalist visited the home before it was sold and shared some pictures of how it looked. It felt like a time capsule, and you can see the role it played in being the office space for David. In fact, you would think it had been abandoned for a long time just by the way that it looked. 
Not that it looked that bad, but it seems like a garage threw up inside the living area with that many boxes lined by the stairway filled with David's belongings. Most of them were from his various projects and businesses. There's something about these pictures that makes you feel nostalgic, even though you never lived there. We wonder how William must have felt to let his father's house go. Old Letter There are lots of homes in the U.S. that are Victorian-styled and some are still standing. You know, some people prefer these types of homes with character and form rather than modern homes that are plain. But the problem with old houses is that many families have lived there, thereby leaving pieces and pieces of themselves. So if you're exploring or buying one of these homes, don't be surprised if you find something creepy or unsettling. This was what a couple had to deal with when they bought a 130-year-old house and received an anonymous letter from the last surviving member of the family who once owned it. Now, that's as creepy as it gets. Anyway, these guys read the letter and apparently their home had hidden rooms that they didn't know about. There was a secret liquor cabinet above the fireplace in the front parlor, a secret room in their bathroom, and an old music box. It's looking more like a scary movie. We've got lots of questions. Weren't the secret rooms on the survey of the house? What other secrets would they find as they continue to live there? Their only succor is that the last person who owned the place had written the letter with grace. In fact, she was kind enough to point out their locations and reassure their new owners. Not many homeowners are that kind. You'll find out what we mean in the next video. Gold Bars One thing everyone should learn at a point in their life is to keep things on a low. If, for example, you get rich by luck, you don't have to blow the trumpet too loud because people will get suspicious. That's precisely what happened with this couple. In 2009, they accidentally discovered six gold bars in their garden. In 2013, they dug up an additional 22 bars. We wonder why it took them four years to go back to the garden with their spades and dig the whole thing out. The couple's lives transformed and people began to notice they were spending more money than usual. A police investigation ensued and they had to reveal their secret. And you may not believe this, but the previous owners of the house took them to court, claiming that the gold belonged to their late grandfather. They won the case and so the couple had to return the remaining five gold bars and the proceeds from the sale of the other one, which accounted to 642,000 euros. That went from a miracle to a tragedy real quick. Eerie Dollhouse Remember Dave? the photographer explorer of abandoned houses from number 20. He's on the list again and he claims this one is the strangest abandoned house he's ever seen. The house is located in a remote location in Ontario, Canada. After crossing fields to get there, he couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. He looked around and there they were. Creepy dolls all around the house. No one knows who owned the house and when exactly it was abandoned. What we do know is that whoever it was had an unhealthy obsession with children's toys. Some of them were scattered on the floor, some ripped to shreds. Dave said that it seemed like he was being watched in every room he entered because there were dolls' eyes everywhere, from Cabbage Patch Kids to Disney figurines. We can all agree that dolls can be creepy, especially if you've seen Chucky or other horror movies with dolls. Now find yourself in a house filled with them, you'd have to rethink your choices. Same way you'll rethink your choices if you ever decide to visit one particular neighborhood on Lincoln Way. Claw on Wall We've been talking about abandoned houses. What do you feel about abandoned neighborhoods? When you see ghost towns, what comes to mind? A deserted place, right? Often these places seem post-apocalyptic, almost as if aliens had taken over. Or just like when people fled their town in the TV series Stranger Things, we need to understand why the people of this town would leave without taking personal belongings like family photos. However, if we're being honest, a group of people fleeing in panic might only need to take essentials. This is what must have happened at Lincoln Way, a deserted town that shows traces of past life. It looks like a movie set, and it's really strange because all the houses have the same things going on there, tucked beds and dirty dishes. This makes us imagine that the children in the neighborhood got ready for school that morning, but the school never actually happened that day or any day after. Well, no one could really say what happened in the town and why it was deserted all of a sudden. Indoor cages. A lot of people have fantasies, and this is evident in how they do things. And for some, they even build a way to enjoy their fantasies right into their homes. Take, for instance, this case of a couple that found an abandoned house and decided to go for an exploration. While searching the house, they discovered something odd, 
and we completely agree with that word choice. The cages inside the house were probably meant for animals, but now they look eerie because the house is old and empty. We can't say what was being kept in the cages, but it seems like something we wouldn't want to find out. Besides the cages, the house feels eerie as you can still see an old bookshelf and some plates that were left on the sink. So, where did the owners go? Did they just abandon the home on a whim? Or was it haunted like the next house is believed to have been? Voodoo doll. When people see an empty house, they often wonder why the previous residents left their belongings behind. Some people left quickly, maybe due to an urgent need or to escape a sandstorm or hurricane. Others left because they thought the house was haunted. We can't judge people who leave their homes and never return because we haven't experienced what they have. However, when most of those houses are explored, we get a clue as to what really happened. For example, this Canadian house, nicknamed Grandma House, was deserted many years ago. You could see the deterioration of the property. It's been abandoned since 1987. While they were investigating it, they discovered something extraordinary. Yeah, these guys found a voodoo doll in the house, and that raised a whole lot of eyebrows. We all know how creepy voodoo dolls can be now. Now imagine finding them in an abandoned house. Wouldn't you be scared to your bones? Who knows what spiritual stuff grandma had practiced there? Hidden Wine Cellar If everyone was too scared to try something adventurous, we wouldn't have had this video. So, we say thank you to the guys who risked their lives and sanity to get us to this content. Anyway, we also have to mention that not all abandoned houses have to be creepy, because some of them have stuff that tells us of a time when people lived there and made memories. For this house, the memories must have been quite cheerful, because behind one of those doors, there's a wine cell that's been there for years. Why would there be a place that's stacked up with wine and then abandoned for years? Did they forget such a place exists? Or was it a secret affinity by the owner who didn't want their family to know about it? Sadly, we can't get the answers from an abandoned house. These guys heard about the farmhouse and decided to explore it. To get in, they had to break the lock while searching for the wine cellar. Once they got in, they found an old room filled with racks of wine. The wine bottles appear quite old, probably around 20 years old. And what's that they say about old wine being the best? Imagine what those bottles would be worth after all these years of storage. While the person who owned the wine cellar was secretly storing wine, the owner of the house in the next clip had different intentions. Secret Passages Secret passages have always been a common feature of old houses. The guys who came up with the idea probably wanted to have a way to escape during attacks, or maybe they wanted to use it to smuggle in their concubines. Whatever their reason, they didn't expect that their secret passages would be used for various purposes today. Some urban explorers ransacked an abandoned property and found a couple of secret passages. These passages had not been used in years and had gathered lots of dust. Judging by the look of the secret passages, it could really have been a great tool during war times or an attack, especially since the house is a prime target for aggressors. Take a look at it. The house is literally located in front of a marsh, and this gives it just one exit. Of course, an enemy that wants to attack would think there's no way for the people in the house to escape. Boy, would they have been wrong. Who knows where the passages might even lead? Even after discovering them, no one was that eager to find out, especially since you don't know what's waiting for you on the other end. If you think a secret passage is an excellent addition to a house, wait till you hear about a secret vault. Secret Vault Apparently, these guys found a secret vault in the Twin White House. If you're wondering what we mean, you need to see the house yourself. It looks like some guy got bored of the bland color at the White House and decided to add a little bit of spice. How the house looks isn't really our concern. What we're focusing on is the secret vaults that were discovered somewhere in the house. Naturally, the owner of such a mansion would likely have hidden treasures. Where better to put in than a secret vault behind a picture of their great-grandfather? What's the idea behind having vaults at the back of family portraits? Quite cliche and weird. What could be inside? Could there be treasures that are worth much? We guess the new owners of the house will find out. Newspaper from 1912 It's 1912, and the only way you can get information is either through your radio or newspaper. It must have been a tough time to be alive. Well, it was in some sort of way as the World War was about two years later. Anyways, that's not the point right now. We're focusing on an abandoned farmhouse that filled with newspaper clippings, stopped clocks, and intimate love letters. 
the three brothers who owned the place died, so a photographer was invited to visit. The abandoned cottage near Cookstown County Tyrone looks frozen in the 20th century. The clock is frozen at 12.15. There are unopened food cans, photographs, and a half-smoked pipe. And this is so interesting, a newspaper reporting the aftermath of the sinking of the Titanic in 1912. See why we'd say it's frozen in time? The building has been knocked down now. Good thing photographers and archivist Rebecca Brownell was able to visit there and take these beautiful pictures. She collected precious items from the house and exhibited them as the disused four-story Riddles warehouse in Belfast. The same way these pals and business partners made a fortune by exhibiting what was considered worthless. Paintings in Garage When it comes to profit making, nothing beats a good bargain. You know when you get something for a cheap price and you later find out that it's worth so much more? That's the story of these guys. Thomas V. Schultz and Lawrence Joseph bought some property and they made so much profit from it just because of what was found in the garage. They'd purchased the property with the intention of flipping it for profit. But what they didn't know was that the cottage had more profit in store for them. They found about 7,000 pieces of Arthur Pinion Jin's artworks. This guy was an artist who dealt with abstract painting and his work was worth so much after his death. Now, all that work they found there was said to be valued at around $90 million. Isn't that an impressive stroke of luck? That's one solid bargain. They'd simply purchased a cottage for $300,000 and ended up making life-changing money, all from someone else's work. Greenhouse, an overgrown abandoned mansion. That's what this house is called. Can we even call it a house? There are so many plants growing inside. It's almost as if it's part of nature. Although some of it looks intriguing, most of it makes you feel sad and a tad bit angry. From the video, you can tell that the place is often visited by vandals. Look how they've scattered the place, with spray paints and writings on the wall. Imagine the way the house was before the plants crept in. Imagine the laughter ringing through those ink-stained walls. Imagine conversations on those stony steps. We wonder, just like all the houses on this list, why this one was abandoned. What happened to the owners? Why has the architectural masterpiece been left to decay? Netizens weren't happy with the state of the house when the video was uploaded on YouTube. They acknowledged that the house and the gardens were beautiful and expressed their disapproval of the vandalism. One commenter wondered why there was an abandoned mansion in the middle of the woods. And boy, are we wondering the same thing? What do you think the house could be worth if properly maintained? Room full of lamps. Dan Pimpertel is an urban explorer who's visited 22 states in the U.S. in order to check out forgotten places and post them on social media. He claimed he didn't believe in the supernatural, but changed his mind after visiting a hidden New York mansion. He entered an Edwardian mansion located in the southeast corner of New York City, and when he got into a particular room, he felt chills. The room floor was filled with lamps. Kind of gives the same feeling as the house with the voodoo doll. Why are there so many lamps in one place? Was the owner trying to summon a particular spirit? Dan tried to come up with some theories to explain this mystery. He said it could be that someone else who explored this place gathered them all up and put them there for the picture and left them behind. Or maybe the owners gathered all the lights in one place before moving out since there was another room with mattresses stacked. He added that being in the house was like being in the game, Resident Evil, and all through his visit he felt like a zombie would pop out. So much for not believing in the supernatural, Dan. Mm -hmm.